Well, I hope you enjoyed the first part, because here comes another. Welcome back to Martha is Dead, this time for part two. And this time, we've got a couple of things to deal with. And I think we should deal with this to begin with. Why is this upside down? Maybe that's the way that Martha would have liked it. It looks like we're not going to sort that out. We're going to leave that as it is. But we're not going to leave that, are we? Let's see. According to this, we need to get ready for the day. We need to change our underwear, take the bag with the cameras, the rolls of film, and dress ourselves. The bathroom is next to my bedroom. Right, okay. Well, let's have a look at the bathroom. We haven't been there yet, have we? Oh, and there you go. There's the bag. I'm very curious about this film. I think as soon as I'm dressed, I'm going to have to go down to the dark room and get it developed. Okay. Right, here it is. Here's the bathroom. So, let's get ourselves cleaned up, shall we? The B-Day? Right, okay. Yeah, why was I bleeding so much? Hmm. That's better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. Yeah. And I'm not going to tell my doctor. Otherwise, he'll make me stay in bed and rest. I bet. Okay, let's see. Now all I need to do is dress myself. So, I guess I'm leaving that for my poor mother. So, again, uh, is it going to be from my wardrobe or Martha's? Let's go back to Martha's, right? Let's just make this concrete. I'm living her life. I'm going to dress in her clothes. I'm going to be her. And it looks like we have the same choice of three. Let's choose this one. This dress is only for special occasions. Oh, okay. Um, what about this one on the left? Yeah, okay. Just to spice things up a little bit. Okay. I am ready for the day. So we... It's Ooh. very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. I guess I could. The phone's just around here, isn't it? Right. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. Hmm. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of- No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't- Father, anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. That boy didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny, who, deep down, is a good woman. The nanny? I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. Huh. With her evil passion for those cards, they are cursed things. Cards? I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. Anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. Hmm. My mother is losing her mind again. Oh, tarot cards. Could anyone even imagine such nonsense? Right. And Donatilio. He is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Yeah. Why on earth did they take them from me? Following the dramatic news from the countryside. Right, so maybe it's safe this time to go up to the bedroom. Maybe I should do that. Right, okay. Well, let's have a little look around, shall we? What am I going to find? Various things over here. What's this? Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Irene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. Hmm. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Right. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? Yeah. It was my room. What is she trying to hide? Hmm. Ooh, okay. I wonder if I'm going to pick that up in this game. Um, okay, there's a few other things to have a look at. Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Okay, and there's something down here. Where these do not 
Oh, in the drawer. Right. What's that? Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Is she? Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Oh. Martha. What? I'm not pregnant. Why is everything Wh becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. I'm wondering if Martha was trying to swindle her mother. She was dressed in my clothes for some reason. Maybe the idea was that mum was going to think it was me. And it's her that's pregnant, or, or was pregnant. That might explain the, the vision, the dream that I had as well. Okay, so what else have we got? What's this, the other drawer? Okay. Wait, that, oh right, that's the pack of tarot cards? Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and right. I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Hmm. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future, which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. Yeah, I'm going with the latter. Deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Well, in times like this? Yeah, I kind of agree. Okay, so they've been added to my bag? Alright. Shall we give them a go? <laughs> Alright, uh, welcome back to Prognostic, everyone. Shuffle, let's see. One more time. And then Divination, right. Well, there's quite a few of them. Oh, there's loads. Uh, right. Which one's it gonna be? <laughs> let's choose this one. Temperance. The Temperanza, okay. And then this one? The stars, right? And this one in the bottom right. The hermit. The solution is still far away. I must be patient and wise. Hmm. But luck is not on my side, unfortunately. Okay. Only one divination per day, it seems. So I'm going to have to be patient. What I'm taking from that is that the game isn't over quite yet. Maybe there's going to be a few more days. Right, okay. It's only a matter of time before we go and try and pick up the gun, isn't it? <laughs> there are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. Right. Anything else? Oh, jewellery? This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. Right. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I love how beautiful this game looks. I really, really do. What on earth were you painting? Oh boy. Okay, right. Okay. I, I, I should really just get on with my primary objective right now, and that's to go down to the dark room, and that's to develop those photos, right? What happened on the lake? Maybe the cameras will reveal the answer. But yeah. Need to find that key as well. Hmm. Right. Oh, yep, okay. We've got another newspaper, so I'm playing the part, so let's take a brief look at it. Alright. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces... 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbors bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not looking too good, is it? Right, I, I think that's I think that's me done. Yeah, I love how you can go really in depth with the <laughs> historical details as you float. <laughs> but right, yeah, let's just get to the dark room. I'm so curious as to what I'm going to find on this film. Here we go. Oh, and it looks like there's maybe a couple more lenses on the right. Oh, oh, what's this? Ah. 
Can I use that? Oh, maybe I can. I don't think I could before. Yeah, we got a tape recorder here. Okay, well, hang on. Let's have a look at these lenses. Where did these come from? What's this? Red filter for super high contrast photos. Oh, nice. Okay. And this one? With this lens, everything gets bigger. Wonderful. All right. And this? This lens increases the framed area. It allows me to fit more into the image. Ah, okay. So I can get some really nice landscape photos, I suppose. God, if you really want to get in-depth with the photography in this game, you can, can't you? But what's up with this tape recorder? I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf, after all. Right. I'm not meant to be listening at all. Ready? Julia? You ready? <laughs> sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no. My voice will sound awful. No way. Come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, no, no. I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. Oh. I never heard the recording. But I was right. My voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. Right. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. Okay. Was that the last one that I just took out? Or is there another? I think that's it. Okay, so let's get to developing, shall we? With some lovely music in the background. These images could change everything. They could. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Mm. Damn my head and these memory lapses. Yeah. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. There always seems to be a healthy supply of paper in there, thankfully. Okay, uh, so. Right. Page four of four? Three or four? Right, these would be the, the different films, right? Okay. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Yeah, definitely. And then page one is actually the photos that I took earlier in part one. Okay. Do I need to develop all of them? Because one, two, and four look like there's nothing on them. But this one, well, there's definitely something here. So let's develop this one, shall we? And done. Right. Okay. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember. Right, yeah, just before I dove in. Okay, well, I'm going to put that one in the album. Right, let's see. Let's go through the others. And now, okay. All right. Yes, I've undressed and I'm about to dive in. This matches my memory. Okay. Well, that's good, right? I mean, <laughs> I haven't found a photo of her killing her or anything, so let's put that one in the album as well. And now. And I think that's me carrying Martha out the water. I'm carrying Martha to shore. Right. I'm trying to save her. Mm. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. Good. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Okay. Maybe I should meet with the White Lady. She might be able to tell me something. Huh. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Good question. Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to meet with the white lady, am I? And how is that going to work exactly? Go to the lake. Of course. Go to the lake. Right. Uh, well, let's, let's go do that. Is the door open round here? It is. And where's the tripod? Oh, is that the tripod? Ah. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. Wonderful. All right. With all this camera equipment that I'm picking up, I'm going to be weighed down by the end of the game. I have found what I need to take in for red photos. Ah, lovely. But right. Here's our little shortcut. This is the center of our farm. But since we moved here, it hasn't worked like it used to. Security matters, Daddy says. Oh, I bet he does. Okay. <laughs> Got some farm animals down there. There's a cow. Uh, but right, we're going to the lake. We are going to see if we can get to the white lady. I don't know how this is going to work exactly. Is she just going to grab my arm? Am I going to run away again? But, well, we'll find out. 
Uh, okay, so let's look at the map. I went that way last time. I went the north way. Maybe let's go this way. Down to the south. Yeah. I think this is the way that I went in the demo, actually. Uh, let's stick to the main path. At least for now. Yeah, I think this is the one that I went down before. Hmm. Ah, ah, yes. Yes, I've seen this before. Right, we're going to need to take a photo of this helmet. So let's make sure it's a good one. Okay. It's a little bit out of focus, but other than that, pretty good. There you go. Not too shabby. German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Yes. Let's just keep on going, shall we? Something's telling me I'm not going to make the lake. No. They would be the separatists, I think. Being chased by the Germans. Right. This seems extremely dangerous. What is going on here? What are the soldiers doing? It's dangerous, I know, but I want to follow them and see what's happening. Yeah, so let's run towards the gunfight in the woods, shall we? I can't actually see any soldiers. I... Mm, I might be okay. I might be okay. Let's just stick to the path. Alright. We're pretty close to the lake, after all. We're not too far away. Ooh. That didn't sound good. Okay. Uh, there is a little bit of an opening over here. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, God, please, no. Lapo, my dear friend. What have they done to you? Right. What are we doing here? Is that the armband you're taking? You gotta stop oh, doing this, really. The chief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Something just fell out of it as well. Can I take a look at that? Yeah, what is that? A little piece of paper. A note? A letter? What is it? Dear Julia. Oh, it's to me. Are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Yeah. Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I do. I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself. Oh, she- Wow. I knew that was coming, and it still got me. That's very well placed. Right. This is how the demo ends. I don't know where we go from here. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot. Scheiße, scheiße, scheiße. Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es oh. musste getan werden. Why did you pick that up? Why did you wear it? General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel. Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch. Right. Scheiße. Lass uns abhauen. Aber, aber sie lebt noch. Sie yes, liegt im she's alive, thankfully. The game doesn't end here, I don't think. Hast. Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. Right, so they're just legging it? They're not going to try and help me? No, I don't think so. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. Oh? When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Hmm. Okay. I actually like the sound of this. Oh, right. Uh, Mother or Martha? Martha. Uh, let's see. Martha, I give you back. Okay. I give you back what I have. Yeah, your. Martha, I give you back your 
Destiny. Appearance. D D Destiny. Nah, it must have been appearance. Okay. I was doing so well. Yeah, I really like these dream sequences where it gets a little bit more surreal and the horror really does get involved. So, Martha, I give you back your appearance. Is that Lapo next to her? Ooh. Ooh. And that's how they actually look. At least in this dream. Okay, so w what does this all mean? You mentioned that you didn't know what it meant at the time, but later on it made sense? Hmm, okay. If Martha was indeed pregnant, maybe she was with Lapo. Okay, uh, now? Okay, now what? Now I pay or I see? Uh, I see? Now I see... With my eyes instead of yours. I see with my eyes. Yes. Oh. That must be our favorite white lady. And off he goes. Getting dragged into the water by the looks of it. Well, hey, at the very least, we didn't have to carve his face off. So, there's something, right? <laughs> oh? Ah! Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. Hmm. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. I bet it was. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. Hmm. What if the wrong person went with you? Yeah. Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself, giving more time to her sister. Hmm. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true. But it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However... Little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Ah, Arthur's. it was rigged from the start. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure, 
I'll put things back where they belong. Mm. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Okay. But not quite yet, hopefully. I think I'm meant to live at least a little bit longer, right? Right? <laughs> well, yeah. Remarkably, I'm alive. Damn, this hurts so bad. I bet it does. I can hardly breathe. Wow. Okay, so... Uh, you probably don't want to do that. That might open the wound. Ah, oh dear. Uh, okay, no bed rest for me, I guess. No rest for the wicked. It's a new chapter, The Burial. It's four days after Martha's death. Yeah, I should probably be in the bed for like a week or two. Right, okay, so let's see. What do we need to do? Oh, of course, there's going to be a new newspaper to read. And then my things. I need to dress myself for the funeral, find Lapo's letter, and find the bag. Okay. Um, well, it's not hanging up. Oh, no, no, my bag is not here. Mm. My diary. Lapo's letter. Where is it? Somewhere around here? Also, how am I going how to dress? I... Oh. How is my daughter? Please, Doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. Yeah. She will be all right. Oh? What are we doing? Are we listening? Right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Ooh. Doctor, for Ooh. everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. Right. And I wouldn't want to miss my own funeral, would I? All of his preparations for the funeral. Irina wants everything to be perfect. Right, it sounds like they're, they're moving away. So, yeah, how am I going to dress today? Shall I dress in Martha's clothes? Or, I don't know, shall I reclaim my own identity? Let's have a look at Julia's. Well, when he stops speaking, I suppose I can. There we go. Okay, so it looks like I've got three choices. Uh, can I wear this one? Ah, okay. Well, at least I can today. Yeah, I can wear this for the funeral, I suppose. I would like to spend a moment with my sister. Right. Just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. Okay. One final farewell. Good idea, good idea. Right, let's get out of here. So, yeah, this is going to be a weird experience, isn't it? <laughs> uh... So, I still actually haven't found my things, have I? I guess maybe the bag could be here? And once again, General Kay's family has come under fire. Hmm. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. Right, no. More of that's been painted, hasn't it? Hmm. Okay, well, let's, let's try upstairs. Let's try the bedroom. That's where I found the tarot cards, right? Uh, I'm not seeing anything. Hmm. Maybe downstairs somewhere? What if the bag is here somewhere? Oh? Is it? Did I miss it? What does it say in the objectives? Uh, hmm. Well, I guess it's going to be somewhere around here. I haven't checked the bathroom. Oh, hang on. my bag. Right. Thank God. Okay. So let's see. Hopefully, I get all my stuff back. Is that going to include? Lapo's letter is in there. Yeah, exactly. 
So let's have a look, shall we? Okay, so we've got quite a few new things. There's the diary. I guess I can do some more divination. It's a new day. And I think this is the letter. Let's continue reading. Hopefully this time I don't get shot halfway through. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Huh. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number. 6934. 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? Nice. I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Right. Okay, well, I guess before we leave, there's a couple of other things we can do. Divination. Let's shuffle these up again and let's see what it's going to say for today. Here we go. Okay, um, let's choose these three, shall we? So this one. The sun. Okay. The sun. The emperor. And finally... There is darkness that brings uncertainty. Mm. But there will be a guide. Something that can teach me something. There'll be a guide. Something that can teach me something. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, and finally, I suppose, there's also the diary. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue. Even the path of insanity. Hmm. Okay. Right. Now, can we get out of here? No, we still can't. There must be something else around. My things. Okay. So, uh, well, I've got my things, right? And there's a number. Right, is it a phone number or a combination? Well, I can't use the phone right now. I guess it could be a combination for something. I guess I'll keep that in mind. Ah! Right. Now I think I can leave. I think I just needed to have another look at the diary. Okay, well, next up, I suppose it's going to be the newspaper down on the table, right? Yep, okay. So, this is going to be the 20th of July, 1944. Attempted murder in Laura Mola. Mm. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. Yeah. The German soldiers shot me. Exactly. It's best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. Yeah, probably best not to ruffle the feathers right now. Okay, well there you go. Now, I suppose the funeral is going to be taking place... I should pick up the phone but remain silent. Oh? If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. I have a habit of doing this now, don't I? No one's around to witness it? Okay, well, let's listen in. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's 
just a nanny. I can confide in her. Hmm. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my Lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, Nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me. It's Julia. Well, I'm oh revealing God. it. Julia, my little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. Hmm. I, I saw you lying there dead. This you did? This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? Wait, wait when, when did she see I me? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. Right. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We wow. should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Damn. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Okay, maybe I'm making a mountain out of a molehill, but something about that just rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, I can use the telephone to make calls now. Right. Uh, well, I guess I could try that number, and there's various numbers to try down there, but I really don't want to be late to my own funeral, so maybe I'll do that a little bit later on, right? Okay. So, yeah, it looks like the door's open. Not the bike here. Hang on. My bike. The wheel is deflated as usual. All the right. bicycle pump will solve this. <laughs> oh, there's just so many distractions in this game. Right, I'm just going straight for that door. Oh, oh, right. Huh. I saw a card of this, didn't I? Yeah, it's dead. Yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that gift. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. Yeah. His place is by Martha's side. You think? Uh, yeah. Right. It's gonna be a joint funeral now. <laughs> Nanny always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Looks like it's just me. Okay, well, uh, here you go, little one. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Right. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Hmm. Well... Thankfully, I'm actually in my own this time. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, there's something over there. What's this? Commune of San Casciano. Oh, her death certificate. Province of Florence. Death certificate. My death From certificate, the really. of death certificates of this commune, number 174, part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay 
Don Attilio D. will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M., who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. So officially, I'm dead. Wonderful. Okay, all right. Objective updated, was it? Oh, look at all these new things to get on with. Right, so... I need to read the diary, the... The telephone. Right, all these numbers to call. And then the bicycle. I need to find a pump for the bicycle wheel as well. Okay, let's have a look at the diary. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. Right. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, ah. but there are so many. I have seen a couple. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. And I have found Maybe that lens. Then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Hmm. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work. So I'll need scissors to cut some off. Well, I've got a pair of those. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Right. Yeah, that's that single solitary island that we saw in the book. That's the one that you can see on the map in the bottom right. Yeah, okay, okay. Sounds like we've got ourselves a plan. I don't know if I like it very much, but... Okay. Um, I guess that means we're just going back to the lake? Well, let's see. My personal object. I'll need an object that connects her world and mine. Ah. Uh, oh, it must be foggy to be able to photograph spirits. It's definitely not foggy. It's a bright, clear day. Hmm. Uh, I guess we could look for the pump, possibly. I don't know, maybe it's going to be around here. A big fuss. Oh, I see it. Yeah. The raven, right. There's another little sub-quest. Where are you flying off to? Wait. Wait a minute. What did the tarot card say? There's going to be a guide. Where are you taking me? Oh, there's a path here. I've never been this way before, not even in the demo. What's down here? Okay. Oh, what's that? What is that? That's the same fabric that I saw down by the lake, isn't it? Are we taking a photograph, or...? Dress? It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. Another clue, I think. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. Right. Did my mother try and kill me? I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Yeah. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed. And I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. Hmm. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Martha must have known. Like, why else was Martha wearing my clothes? It's a very, very strange series of events. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. Right. Yeah, I can't imagine a deaf person would be very good at this, so... Better make sure that, you know, no one's listening, right? What's going 
going on here? Julia? Indeed. Is that you? No, it's not possible. It might Mother's be. Mother's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. Oh boy. Maybe she's realizing she killed the wrong daughter. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough. You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic. They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Oh, I know. Believe me. I played the Town of Light. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. I guess I'm not going to be living a lie anymore. My mum's going to tell everyone, surely. Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then she began to hit me with everything she had at hand. Damn. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back. Not memories of actual past events, but more so of feelings. Oh. Feelings I had when I was little. They were scary. They were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The nice. evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Okay. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. I am happy you are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know about that, to be honest. Anyway, another new chapter. It's the White Lady five days after Martha's death. And I gotta say, this looks a little foggier than yesterday, don't you think? Let's have a look. Okay, so the white lady. Uh, it must be foggy. Yeah, that's been ticked. I need to take a photo of the grave in the woods. So that's... Yeah, that's the, the graves that I walked past before. It's not too far away at all. Let's go do that. Let's go do that right now. I think I've got everything I need to photograph that, right? Let's see. I don't know what I'm hoping to find, but what else can I do? Hmm. I will hopefully see if one of these graves is hiding something. I hope that the infrared film will show me. Well, we're about to find out, I suppose. So, let's use the camera and, well, uh, I suppose we're going to have to go to the adjustments? Yeah. Extra. Right, look at all these extras that I've got. So, um, it looks like I need the tripod. And I need the infrared film and the lens. And now I just need to worry about the, the focus and the exposure and stuff like that, so... Okay, that's properly exposed. And now that's in focus. Okay, uh, will this do? I don't know which grave it is specifically. I guess this one, right? Okay, I'm shooting. Okay. It's taking a little while, but... Yep. Okay. So what do I do? Do I go down to the lake, or do I go back and try and develop that? What I should probably do is use some more tarot cards. <laughs> Alright, let's divine what's going to happen next. Okay, this time I'm going to choose the top right three. The chariot. Right. Oh boy. Is that depicting my mother trying to drown Martha? Thinking it was me? The Wheels of Fortune. Okay. And finally... The Hanged Man. I'm going to make it. It will all change eventually. But luck will not be my ally and everything will be very difficult. 
Okay. Uh, I don't know if I like the sound of that, to be honest. Maybe I should have left the cards in my bag. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to do a little bit more work in the dark room. I want to see if that photo is going to help us at all. Okay. Oh, and what's this? Oh, hang on. I can take another photograph here, it seems. All right. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do two. Okay, so again, I'm just going to have to go and use the tripods and this. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, and it's too dark, so... The exposure... Still too dark. I suppose I'm going to have to use the flash. Yes, okay. That seems fine. That seems great. Okay, so... Shoot! Alright. Now we've got two photos to develop in the dark room. I think one's going to be more important than the other, but I'm curious. Right, the dark room. What am I going to see? Oh, there's writing on it. He who flees from the light hides behind it? Is that what it says? What is this? A joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Hmm. Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe? Possibly. Either way, I'm going to put that in the album. That could come in handy. Right. Okay, so what about the other one? The one I took at the grave? Alright, I'm starting to see some of the details. Right, let's take it out. Yeah, there's someone there. Wow. This is the grave I've been searching for. I'm the spirit of a prisoner. Just like the White Lady, he's trapped in this world, but they can no longer meet one another. Evil is separating them. Right. Okay, well, yeah, that's an important one. I'm going to put that one in the album. But what do I do with that information? Hmm. Okay, so let's just take a look at our objectives here. It looks like I need to head back and interact with that grave specifically. But that's going to have to wait until next time, because right now I'm going to say thank you very much for watching part two of Martha is Dead. I hope you're still enjoying the series. If you are, leave this video a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Part three will be along shortly. See you then. Nanny, who deep down is a good woman. The nanny. I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. Huh. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Is she? All right. Uh, welcome back to Prognostic, everyone. It's only a matter of time before we go and try and pick up the gun, isn't it? <laughs> I love how you can go really in-depth with the <laughs> historical details as you float. I am meant to be deaf, after all. Right. I'm not meant to be listening at all. Well, that's good, right? I mean, <laughs> I haven't found a photo of her killing her or anything, so something's telling me I'm not going to make the lake. No. We're pretty close to the lake, after all. We're not too far away. Ooh. Reconcile myself. Oh, she. Wow. I knew that was coming, and it still got me. Well, hey, at the very least, we didn't have to carve his face off. So, there's something, right? <laughs> yeah, all day anyway. Thank you, Ooh. Doctor. For Ooh. everything. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. I have a habit of doing this now, don't I? I saw you lying there dead. This you did? Me so, much. so, officially, I'm dead. Wonderful. What is that? They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Oh, I know, believe me. I played the Town of Light. The Chariot. Right. Oh, boy. Is that depicting my mother trying to drown Martha? Thinking it was me? 